Hello, welcome to the GTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. South Sudanese economy is going through a period of uncertainty. The prices of food commodities have shot to the roof. Overall, the cost of living in South Sudan has skyrocketed. Despite what the government will dealers say, South Sudanese economy is not fixable. For those who don't know, Zimbabwe has been known to exhibit high inflation, which has made its currency worthless. Zimbabwe Zimbabwe's economic problem dates back to the early 2000s when Zimbabwe's government repossessed white settlers' agricultural lands and gave them to Zimbabweans. The U.S. and European governments responded by levying trade sanctions on Zimbabwe that crippled its economy. To be fair to Zimbabwe, outsiders ruined its economy. On the other hand, insiders, corrupt leaders, ruined the South Sudanese economy. In today's analysis, we have analyzed three reasons why South Sudan's economy is going Zimbabwe's way. Here are they. Number one, overprinting of fiat currency. South Sudan has become a haven for money launderers and counterfeiters. Within Juba, there are approximately hundreds of counterfeiters who print South Sudanese pounds day and night. Instead of the central bank overseeing the printing of pounds, counterfeiters are the ones doing it. The problem with the oversupply of money, fake and real, in circulation is that it fails to equalize demand for more goods and services. When money increases in supply with goods and services remaining unchanged, terms are forced to increase prices, leading to inflation. Additionally, scarcity generates value. The oversupply of the South Sudan of the South Sudanese pound devalues its worth. Number two, zero level of production of goods and services. South Sudanese economy has been ravaged by decades of war and mismanagement. Even though there is no shortage of South Sudanese pounds, there is an inexistent level of production of goods and services. Everything is imported from neighboring countries, which is not sustainable for homegrown economic development. South Sudan has 100% arable land for food production. It is a shame that we import food products from the region. Food commodities prices are not regulated either, leaving South Sudanese at the mercy of foreign traders who hike the prices anytime they feel like doing so. The best way is for the South Sudanese government to invest in agriculture and levy tariffs on imported food products. This will enable us to become stable. Furthermore, expanding agriculture and overall the economy can generate more goods and services for a growing population. Number three, corruption. South Sudanese government is full of corrupt personalities. Cartels have captured all public and private institutions in South Sudan. In the mix are entrepreneurs like Benjamin Bolmer, Tut Keogalwag Manime, and many others who are doing business with the government. These corrupt officials award themselves contracts without competent bidding. A case in point is Prosperity Limited, owned by Central Bank Governor Dr. Alish Garam, an accord maniam, which awarded itself a contract to supply cheap food to South Sudanese. Our oil and gold revenues are enriching a small cabal of elites that circumnavigate around President Kiel. Key among them is Adud Salva, President Kiel's elder daughter. Foreign business people looking for papers, bracket rent seeking, bribe the leaders at a cost below the value of the favors they are seeking. Rent seeking is killing South Sudanese economy. The best way is to kick President K's government out of power. A new government will prosecute corrupt officials and seal all the loopholes in corruption. Another solution is to empower institutions like the judiciary and the anti-corruption agency so that they can combat rising corruption. All considered, these are some of the ways South Sudan's economy is going Zimbabwe's way. There are others as well. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Please don't forget to subscribe to other GTV South Sudan Global.